Hey guys, welcome back. And we are in the midst of breeding season here. And we've got some eggs to show you. Stay tuned. So the eggs are not ball python eggs. I'm still sitting here waiting on those and starting to get kind of antsy. So we'll give you an update on how all those females look and we'll show you those new eggs we got. And they're pretty exciting. It's a new species for us to breed and I can't wait to see if we have these eggs successfully hatch. But before we get going on that, let me show you the green bottle blue spider that we rehomed last week. She's already molted in her new enclosure and she's already webbed it up pretty good. So just a quick update on her and her enclosure and we will get on to the ball pythons. So you can see here we got her in this four by four by four inch cube. She's already started webbing it up pretty good on this side around the stick. It's really cool to see these animals these spiders web as much as they do. It's kind of neat to watch. She burrowed back here, made a nice little burrow for herself when they're there. You can see some of the top layers she pushed up and then she's right there just chilling. So, very excited to see more of her. After she molted this time too, her legs turned more green and bluish colored. I don't know if you can see that. She's like right up in the corner where it's hard to see, but you can kind of see the green there in her legs. But she is getting bigger. She already took a meal since she went into this new enclosure. And we can't wait till it's time to move her to a new one because that means she'll be big and blue and green like you know of a green bottle blue. Looking forward to that. Another update on the ball pythons. Aurora still looking like she's gravid, still sitting on that warm side. She's got quite a big belly here. Hasn't taken food for a little while now. So I'm hoping she'll be laying here any day now. But I've been saying that for weeks, maybe over a month. I palpated her a few weeks ago and she, she felt like she had some pretty large eggs follicles inside of her bell looking like she's hungry she I just posted an Instagram photo recently she looked like she was not gonna lay for us this year potentially we kind of paired her late in the season we were unsure what we were gonna do with the pairing and she essentially has just kind of been thin and I, didn't, I palpated her, didn't really feel anything, but then earlier this week we paired her one more time with Squilliam and he locked with her for about four days and she was bull wrapping in the days following. So I might be a little more hopeful on her, we'll see. Nissa. Also, one I palpated recently, not sure if she's gonna go for us. Some days she looks like she's gravid and large. Other days she doesn't. So I'm not really holding my breath on her. Look at that Krypton eye stripe. Beautiful snake. She's very skittish. This is Hallie. Her I'm very hopeful for. She has been very large. She is normally a very good eater and she's off food now. And then she is kind of nesting over here. She's still moving back and forth between the cool side and the warm side a little, but she spends most of her time right there where she's kind of nested that out. She's coiled up. You can see that large, well, it's hard to see, but she's solid in there. So still hoping for her any day, but again, just like Aurora, I've been saying that for weeks. So Cindy, beautiful cinnamon hat sunset. Her, I do not know. She's a first time mother. She's a young mother. She's just over 1500 grams. She does look gravid at times, 
but she does not feel like she is gravid when I palpate her. So we'll keep an eye on her, but I'm not expecting too much out of her this year, but next year for sure, we'll see. One other update. We paired Matilda and she left us a gift and she shed. This tub is a mess, so which we paired her with Squilliam and she locked. She just got to 1500 grams very recently. She is a normal who was given to us from somebody who couldn't take care of her, couldn't get her to eat. She will be laying eggs with Squilliam, who is a head ultra male, pause hat monsoon, pause hat lavender, pause hat pied. So if she does lay eggs, maybe something will prove out if she has any heads. We'll see. I'll get this tub cleaned up now. And just like that, she has a new tub with fresh substrate. Look at her. Great eater, beautiful normal. No more big giant poop log here. Sheds out, everything's fresh. So hopefully she'll be a happy camper. Oh, before we look at the eggs, let's check on Selena. She is an African house snake brown African house snake that we're expecting to lay any day now. Alara laid three eggs and unfortunately laid them in her water dish so I will have to start pulling the waters for her because that's twice now she's done that but no eggs from her yet. She had a shed uh, a few weeks ago so I'm hoping we'll see eggs in a couple weeks or so out of her. And we're hoping for T-positive albinos out of that clutch. All right, let's look at those eggs. So what we're looking at here is the Dubia habitat that we have our Tokay geckos in. They are currently hiding, but I was in here cleaning out the enclosure the other day and I came across inside of the cork bark tube. Good looking eggs. So I've read that they are potentially going to lay a few duds before they get anything that's viable, but we are going to keep those in here. And I've also read they can incubate at room temperature. A lot of people on forums that I've looked at and talked to said they've hatched them out at room temperature. So we're gonna try that. Let's see if we can get a look at them just to give me an idea of their size. I'll try and grab the cork tubes here where they're, there he is. There's his pretty face. He's got a really deep reds in his pattern and I love his colors. So I got them all sprayed down, some of it cleaned out. I've got a nice, tray full of dusted dubias down in the corner for them. I want to make sure to give them as much supplement as possible, especially for Delta since she just laid those eggs. There's a good look at Delta. She's hanging out. It's a few hours after the last recording that you saw. She's just hanging out there. She is kind of flared down, so she's a little darker than what she normally is, but still beautiful love the pattern and the natural color on these Tokay geckos. If you guys like videos like this, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell down below. Check out this video we got on the screen here if you like videos like this. And we will see you on the next one. Bye.